Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of Legal Things. Today we're talking about how to write a cease and desist letter in Singapore. What exactly is a cease and desist letter, and when would you use it? This letter is a written demand to stop an illegal or harmful activity and it is used as a first step in resolving a legal dispute before taking more formal legal action such as filing a lawsuit. The letter informs the person receiving it that his actions are illegal or harmful and that they must immediately stop the activity or face legal consequences. Ceased and desist letters are commonly used in situations including harassment, debt collection, copyright infringement, and trademark infringement. And it's a way for the recipient to resolve the issue without having to go through the time or expense of a lawsuit. And the letter can serve as evidence of the recipient's knowledge of the illegal or harmful activity if the dispute later proceeds to court. What exactly does this letter contain? Well, apart from being signed by the sender or his representative, the letter should be dated and typically contains the following elements. Number one, the letter should include the names and addresses of both the sender and the recipient, needless to say. Number two, the letter should describe the activity that is being demanded to be stopped and provide evidence or examples of the activity if possible. Number three, it should also clearly state the demand that the recipient stop the illegal or harmful activity immediately and permanently. Number four, the letter should also warn the recipient of the potential legal consequences of failing to comply with the demand, including potential lawsuits and damages. It's important to remember that these cease and desist letters should be drafted carefully because they can have legal consequences and can be used as evidence in court. In many cases, it may be advisable to consult a lawyer for assistance in drafting this letter. And what are the downsides of writing this letter yourself instead of getting a lawyer to do so? Although you can definitely save money by writing the letter yourself, there are some advantages to getting a lawyer to do so. For example, lawyers have expertise in the law and can ensure that the letter is legally sound, including all necessary elements and language, reducing the risk of it later being challenged in court. Writing a cease and desist letter without legal expertise increases the risk of it being legally deficient and not very effective or useful later on. Also, receiving a cease and desist letter from a lawyer tends to carry more weight compared to a self-written letter and can be seen as more credible, increasing the likelihood of the recipient complying with your demand. So, now you know. If you've enjoyed listening to this and would like to hear more, subscribe wherever you like to listen to podcasts and follow me on TikTok and Instagram. And remember, it's not rocket science. It's just legal things. <laughs>